out to you guys, all the internet crackheads. Who you pointing to? <laughs> shout out to all you internet crackheads for the hundred. Shout turns. out to the. You know what it is. What is it? It's me, the crackhead. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's recording you, so it don't matter. Hit the subscribe button up here. It's not right there. Fuck! <laughs> Hit the subscribe button somewhere around the screen. Make sure you sub. We're trying to get it to 200 subs so he can hit that kickflip. Mythic559. Five, five, uh, okay. Yeah. Come on now. How many subscribers? Boy, we just hit 100. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be the intro right there. My camera on first. Oh, I thought I was too. I told him I said. So Brother, say, I say said, what's up to the internet crackheads. What up, internet crackheads? You saw me with the baby face. Now full bearded up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, you know we got to tell you. You know I got to tell the internet crackheads. We just hit a thousand. Yay! Come on now. Quit, stop playing with us. Yeah. Oh. Welcome back to the Q and A video. Yeah. Say yeah. <laughs> say say yeah. We're here right now. <laughs> now you can never, they might block your number after that. I was just like, yeah. <laughs> Alright, welcome <laughs> welcome back. We're uh, doing the Q&A video slash giveaway video. I'll announce the vi uh, winner at the end. We'll see who wins. But um, yeah, we got Forge in here. He's going to be the one answering, or not answering. Not answering, asking the questions. He's going to be asking the questions. Unless he needs help, then I will answer. Yeah, maybe. I'll be his uh, interpreter. Here we got Bowler Tim in the background, and we got Santi over there peeing or something. All right, so. All right, so Forge is going to ask me the questions. I'm right here, Mythic559, Forgen.Chris, right? Yeah. Forgen.Chris, there you go. Bullard him and we got SA Santi over here chilling. Alright, let's go ahead and start. Alright, question number one. What made you clone a type S? Damn. So I get a lot of hate for this one. So my 08 Agri TL, the carbon bronze one, this one right here. Um, here's a before photo. Um, well, I wasn't really into TLs too much, so uh, when I picked up the the TL, it was just, I don't know, it was whatever. It was just a car at the time. So I didn't know nothing about a Type S or anything like that. Um, after, you know, fixing it up, you know, I'm just fixing up the car. And eventually it just led to me just wanting to have it look like a Type S kind of, I don't know. <laughs> That's kind of really what it is. It's not like I wanted to clone it. It just, I have the car. I'm paying for it. Why not just fix it up how I kind of want it to be? And yeah. Okay, do you do you get a glare from your hydro dip dash? All right, so as you see my hydro dip uh, dash video, uh, I get a lot of questions about the glare. And there is a little glare you can see on the windshield uh, because it's so shiny, the dash is, you know, it's clear coat and all that. So there is a little glare. I'll go ahead and probably edit a clip and into it right here. That way you can kind of see it when I'm driving. Uh, but yeah. You can see the dash uh, on the window right here. too bad but you can see it so I'm driving normally yeah it might bother some of you guys but not me how many cars do you own including with uh, your significant other all right so how many cars do we have total with me and Mariah we have five cars total we got four TLs um, I got my 08 Acro TL base I got my six speed uh, 05 I got, or she got her 06 uh, base, the black one, and then she just barely picked up uh, a 05 uh, auto. So that one, I'll put a little clip on the new one we picked up because I don't think it really showed it. But yeah, we have five cars. Oh, and then we got the 2010 Honda Civic. So yeah, we have five cars in total right now. Um, yeah, we're just a order. In the future, will you? Do you plan on buying a, a Type S? All right. So the only way I'll get a Type S is if I sell my car 
and it's a carbon bronze, and I can swap all my parts over to it. That's the only way I'll get a Type S, but right now not really hurting for one. I'm more interested in the PLX Type S than a new <coughs> Durgen Type S. But, I don't know, maybe. You never know. I don't even know I have this many. <laughs> so what, what lip are you currently running under your Type S A-Spec lip? Alright, so I'm running the STI splitter under my Type S A-Spec um, lip. Here is the photo. of my car again and then it's the 11 to 14 STI lip here's I have a video uh, you comment if you really want to see it I just haven't it's not long enough to make it a full video and I don't think it's funny enough to make it to the random clip video so I don't know what to do with it <laughs> so anyways but yeah uh, it's the STI 11 to 14 front splitter all right what, what is your future content that you have planned coming up or <laughs> All right, for future content, I got the, if you guys haven't noticed already, I got the bags. We got that coming in. We got um, a couple meets we've been to, uh, those videos. Yeah, there's a bunch. Um, we got probably four James parts over here. I think we got a bunch of Tim over here. Probably Santi. Fog lights coming soon. Yeah, we got MSRPNC there's a bunch. Yeah, there's a bunch. We got more engine content, mm -hmm. videos I haven't uh, finished yet. Just a whole bunch of stuff. Um, yeah, yeah. Headlights and stuff like that. But yeah, there's a lot of content coming. Here, why do they call you TL God and who gave you that name? <laughs> uh, you want to answer this one? Do you know? I uh, don't. No, I can't. I can't tell you. Does anyone know? Uh, What's up? No? Oh, Alright. Okay. Damn, see these rookies. 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 Okay. I'm, telling, I'm telling you, rookies. Alright, anyway. So um who well how I came up with that is I don't know. I know everything about TLs, right? Yeah, damn. You got it. I mean, <laughs> it's custom, like, Not everything, you? like I never saw the engine before, but I know how to freaking take the whole TL bar, you know? So I kinda like they kinda grew with me after someone said it. So you you guys happen to know it still? Was, Who it gave chance you that, was it Chance that said it? No. I believe it was CJ, but I could be wrong. Yeah, no, it was CJ. Oh, so CJ, yeah. here's his Instagram right here. Here's a little photo of him holding up my ace bag bumper. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, he gave me that name, and ever since then, you guys probably heard it in like a couple videos, and it's just been ca caught on kind of on the comments and stuff like that. But yeah, that's how that came <laughs> out. TL guy. <laughs> I want to what was your most favorable accomplishment with your YouTube channel and your TL? Jeez. Probably my most favorable with my YouTube is probably when I hit 100. I don't know. It was just, I think that was a funny video. I, I always like <laughs> yeah, that video. Sure. Watch my 100 video if you haven't watched it yet. That show was funny. Uh, other than that, we hit 1,000, so cool for that. Thank you guys for that one. Um, that was another accomplishment, uh, accomplishment on YouTube. Milestone. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, but about about 100 one is probably the biggest one. That actually got me into actually continuing doing YouTube. But, yeah, and what was the other part of it? Your most favorable accomplishment with your TL. Okay. Or TLs. So, part of my most favorable accomplishment with my TL is probably the bag series now. That was like, that was like the top goal ever since I got the TL freaking four or five years after um i finally did it that's the video will be probably not out next but i don't know probably out in a month or so all right what made you get into the tl game i had probably when i was in college i have a first tl like a 06 gray one i probably have a photo of it right here um i don't know i just like it. it was all stock just put some rims on it and that was about it it was the part of the coolest car when i was a kid and then ever since then we went and picked up the 08 and that's how i just kind of just got more into it uh, why did you go back why did i go back why did you go back all right so this is part of like the most uh the most common question so far since i posted that instagram photo so <laughs> do any of you guys know why did i tell you guys why you went back you couldn't go up your driveway <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, my only answer is your hat. You want to know why he went bags? I went bags. Why? Because he freaking scraped it up in that one video going to get free uh, shit. <laughs> if he, you know, he's talking about, he's talking about this clip right here.
<laughs> no, that's not that's not why I went back. I went back because you ain't winning shows if you're not on bags. That is like true. literally you have the exact same car as mine and right next to it is the exact same car. He's bagged and I'm same thing. But if I'm not popping my trunk and showing off my trunk, he's winning. You know? So I could be as low as the bad guys, but I ain't winning shows, so that's the only reason why. It's a show car for a reason. Depending on what trunk you're showing. And any issues with the TOs or <coughs> I, I guess a common issue with your TO, if you had any. Alright, so my TO, I don't know, all the TOs have been cool. My 08, ever since I had it, the only major thing I had to replace <coughs> on it was just an alternator and probably two batteries in four or five years. Uh, Mariah's car has a knock sensor issue that's probably not too big, but we're gonna look into that. The, uh, my six-speed whole engine right here, so that's not really an issue. I already knew that. Uh, the new TI we got is probably just needs motor mounts, and that's it. No major issues here, like everyone else's. Damn! <laughs> Alright, y'all, Sanji, come over here. It's Tom. <laughs> Uh, what year did you get into UA Squad? I think I got in UA Squad in 2016. So what year is it now? 2021. So uh, five years ish. So I've been in here for five years. Started out, you know, stock. You see my TL, and then now look, now I'm bag, and I'm the chapter lead here, holding it down. UA Squad is this is the uh, the first chapter is Fresno. So the mother chapter. You're the mother chapter, and we're holding it down. Yeah, you see it, you see it. Yeah, UA Squad. We're here. Yeah, right here, UA Squad. You know, we wrap in. We got a bunch of merch, but it's only three members. <laughs> Sorry, Shabash. Where were you recruited at? Who, who recruited you? All right. So, for UA Squad, you get recruited, and that's how you come in. So, how I got into UA Squad is uh, Chance. Uh, I had a TL, and then uh, I one day, when I had my old TL, I went to Blackstone and actually saw a group of TLs one day and I didn't know who they were. I followed them and then I dipped out. And then so after I got my second TL for like, what, two years later, um, uh, my friend Chance, he uh, hit me up and said, oh, I got you way squad. I'm in it. You want to come? Let's get a barbecue. And so I went and, um, you know, like, that's how I got my banner. My first barbecue, I got my banner. I just went out to Justine. I was just like, Hey, can I get a? I see people getting stickers. I'm like, oh, can I get one? He was like, yeah. I just got a decal. I didn't, I didn't even know about the three meets or nothing, but that's kind of how I got into it. What was your first mod to your TL? Uh, on your initial first TL and on your two year later TL that you got? Okay. Oh, my very first TL? Yeah, when you were in. Yeah. All right. Probably. So, my first TL, I don't know, that was actually 2014. Uh, my first mod was. Classy dipping, probably the grill. I think that was the very first mod and getting wheels. Just wheels. I didn't buy tires, I just used the tires from the stock ones. So I actually went to the, the wheel place and I said, uh, I got these tires on my stock ones, just give me a rim that these fit on and I'll rock it. It was just some black <laughs> one with a red stripe around it. Yeah, not my best days. But um, yeah, so that one's that one. And then to my 08 TL. My very first one was, I think it was wheels. <laughs> it was wheels too. Wheels, I got wheels. Um, after that, I just classy dipped it. Kind of just reverse order for the first one. <laughs> but yeah, those are my first mods. Did you want to uh, rebuild the six feet? All right, so I got it thinking it was fixable. And uh, after having a professional look at it, more than more work than I thought it needed. So I'm better off just, you know, getting a new engine, honestly. So that's why I started just this little build series with uh, six speed. And it's gonna be cool, I'm almost done. Yeah. Let's see, maybe I should ask you guys some questions. Yeah? Yeah. All right, the switch. All right, guys. So before we continue the video, um, I actually have a few more questions I'm just gonna be answering and then we'll continue with the rest. Um, that you know we didn't have these kind of questions before but good ones to be asking <laughs> so one of them would be uh, what are some of my goals for this year so the year kind of just barely started so I already bagged it out like the main goal really is to get it my car bag 
Um, I'm trying to think what else. Other than that, my, my main goal is to actually have my own place uh, by the end of the year. I'm trying to get, you know, my own garage, whatever. That way, you know, I'm at my girl's parents right now and five cars, you're hogging the space, and, you know, it's my own place. Uh, so that's like our main goal. Um, hopefully, I hit maybe 5,000 by the end of the year subscribers. That would be pretty, pretty damn cool. If not, you know, I'll be happy with like 2,000 or something. As long as my channel grows, kind of like another goal is I want is just to see it just start moving. Um, like little things, you know, just like getting my car dialed in, like the diamond floor mats, um, fix the tail lights a little bit, um, maybe get some different tint, I don't know. It's just this little stuff here, but my main, main goal, like I said, is just to have my own place by the end of the year. and. It's looking good so far, um, but yeah, that's that one. Next question, will I do merch? Not right now, I'm not, I don't think I'm that big enough to be doing merch like that. I got a lot of guys that will probably will support me, like locally and, you know, not locally, out of state or whatever. But right now, just so busy, there's no way I'll be able to do something like that without any some sort of like secondary help from one of my friends or whatever, but Right now, I'm not planning on it. I want to, maybe, you know, towards the end of the year, when I get my own place or whatever, I'll probably be able to do something like that. But right now, I'm just extremely busy. I could probably even get this video out for you. That's how busy I am. But, uh, yeah. So, merch, not right now, but in the future, uh, yes. So, another one is, how did I even first get into cars? Um, so, this one is just because they had my old, like, I think my first car was, I think we had a van my dad tried to give me, but we ended up just trying to trade it for a car. So they, he gave me this, like a, a Nissan Maxima. I'll put a photo of what kind of car, not the exact one, but a uh, car we had. This car, her first car. <laughs> Mine for a little bit because I had my license a little bit longer. And it took him a little bit uh, longer to get his. So I think the first thing we really did was just put beat for black up emblems, you know, some ricer stuff. We're just little ricers. Uh, other than that, um, I think, I'm not too sure what the maxima what happened. Uh, I think we ended up giving that to, straight to my brother, and then that's when we got my first TL. And unfortunately, you know, I was 18, I got that repoed. Um, uh, so, now I went that, and then my mom gave me a 94 Accord. And now it's like, when I actually started getting into NT cars, and here's a photo of my, my Accord. It's, all, it's on my Instagram as well. Um... But yeah, so I just, you know, started lowering it, putting rims on it, slowly just do stuff like quickly steering wheel. And that's kind of how I kind of got into it, more of the aftermarket like parts um, by doing it, exhaust and stuff like that, intake. Uh, so that was like how I got into it, it's that 94 Accord. And then, you know, the Maxima just stayed with my brother for a little while before we got rid of it. I think he actually plastic dipped the dash red. <laughs> it's crazy. But yeah, that's how I kind of got into cars, is my 94 Accord, and I love that car. I wish I never got rid of it. Alrighty. What are your wheel specs? So I always get questions on like old videos and new videos and whatever. So Mariah's car, here it is right here. Um, hers is 18 by 9.5. I do not know the off offset. It's Cosmos wheels. Um, yeah, I think, I don't know, maybe it's probably 25, probably 35. I'm not too sure on that one. Here's a picture of my car right here when I had my old Falcon Works on it. You guys always ask me questions about these wheels. They are 18 by 9.5 in the front with a positive 12. 18 by 9, uh, 18 by 10 in the rear, no, 10 and a half in the rear with a positive 15, I believe. If not, they're mixed around, but I believe that's how it was. Current setup is my my CCWs, or not my current setup, but my, my last setup with my CCWs, here's a photo. Uh, those are 18 by 10 squared all around, positive 15 uh, on those ones. So what do I do? So I'm a trailer mechanic at this truck yard or this diesel shop or whatever. Um, we haul on flatbeds and I just service the flatbeds. So that's what I do for a living. And um, yeah, that's my current job. Uh, and uh, that's how I buy all these cars and car parts. So the intro song. So not this one in this video, but the the one like when I first swapped over to new intro. 
Uh, I played the song and everyone liked it, but I changed it because I was hitting close to a thousand. So I um, used a new song that's not copyrighted, so that way I can see if you know YouTube is something like I want to pursue a little bit further. So you know that's why I changed it. I know I, when you guys first um, made the switch, you guys wasn't feeling it, but I, I knew it was gonna grow, and I haven't seen really too much comments since. A couple other videos after using the new intro song um, but yeah and what is the new intro song so if you guys haven't known already the new intro song is actually Force Gen and my brother Noah which is ForgeGen.Chris Instagram and then Fuck Noe and I already put it in the part in the video already uh, they they teamed up and they actually made this song I was filling it and then I, I, I used it one time and it wasn't copyrighted so I figured out why not just use it for uh, the intro and you know and that's how it is so that's probably going to be continuing uh, my new intro song maybe here and there I'll pull back I'll pull back the old song and that way you can get the little vibes when you um, pull up my channel or whatever watch my videos I know you guys liked it the little intro it was pretty cool though also the intro song or the intro video, if you want to watch the full one, uh, it's in my uh, past videos. It's just the UH Quad Time Central Cali uh, video. So, shout out to Brian, he's the one who made that video. And he made a sneak peek, uh, which is my first uh, intro with the, the old intro song. So, he made that as a sneak peek. You know, it was so perfect. Yeah, he made that as a sneak peek, and it was so perfect that. Um, uh, um, I used it as my intro for a long time. So I used it for a while and then ended up uh, cutting it down from like 30 seconds to like 18 or 15 seconds. And that's after I changed the song after. But yeah, so go check out that video. It's pretty dope. You don't just see mine, you see everyone else's. And it's a really uh, cool vibing video. But I think that's the end of the questions that I have. If there's any more, I'll probably add it in. But right now, uh, let's get back to the video. Any questions for Forge Jen? Any Forge Jen, you've been around for for some time now. <laughs> yeah, same. When, when was your when was your first like? Oh, you know these TLs kind of want one. To be honest, I was looking at a a, a CTS. Uh, unfortunately, not a CTS V. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I, I really wanted a, a CTS uh, coupe. Um, then I started finding out like a lot of maintenance problems and yeah, it just it wasn't worth the hassle. Um, and then I knew I wanted something luxury type, which I wanted, well, it was either going to be a Lexus, um, and then I started looking into Acuras, and CarMax had the, CarMax had the Acura 2013, and yeah, I ended up, uh, I couldn't, I didn't get to test drive it for the fact I didn't bring my insurance, but they had a, they had a seven day take home thing, you can bring it back, so I ended up taking it home and fell in love with it, and uh, Dimitri's brother, uh, uh, Noah, uh, what's it, uh, I can't Shout think. out to Noah. Shout out to Noah. I can't think of his Instagram name, but shout it's out to Noah. fuck Noe or something. Something like that, but, you know what I'm saying? It's fuck Noe, but not fuck Noe, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, but yeah, so, uh, Dimitri's okay. brother, Mythic Power Nine's brother, uh, reached out to me, knew I got the TL, and yeah, just invited me into the UA squad, and so ever since then, I've been in, and it's basically how I got the TL. When I first got you into the club, what did you think? Were you kind of like nervous or what or what? Um, when I got to the to the club, um, I mean it's just a bunch of new people, uh, so I mean you just gotta kind of get warmed up, you know what I'm saying? Just just with anything. Um, but I mean eventually you just you started opening up, people talking to me, I'm talking to them, and yeah, everyone's dope. I mean, good times, fun times, you know, always bubble pub, catch us there. The yeah, UA squad is what it's called just because on our VIN numbers, the UA6, UA7, different years, different models that'll go up to UA8, UA9, and so on and so forth. And, you know, you need a UA to join UA squad. Yep, so we're just mostly Acura TLs, first gen, second gens, and UA is just the chassis code of the very first uh, third gens. It was just all th third gens at first, so UA6. And UA7, which is a type of Um The TLXs, I'm not too sure if they do make a UA for the VIN, but um, we still accept them because they're, you know, still TL technically, <coughs> just newer ones. Yeah. All right. So, due to like the current circumstances with you know what's going on in the world, 
How would you choose to solve world hunger? <laughs> Damn, man. Drink your water. Drink that H2O. <laughs> <laughs> He's a hugger. <laughs> hey, drink that water. <laughs> you ain't gonna be that hungry. <laughs> you can survive on water first. I said. Back to TL Lifestyle. Oh, shit. Wrong channel. <laughs> now what happened? Yeah, we got Baller Tam over here. He's one of the new characters. You probably even haven't seen him yet because I haven't even put us a single video of him yet. What you're gonna be seeing these next videos are all basically Baller Tim over here. Yep. How you been in the crew? I think I've been in the crew for like at least two months. One, one, two months? A month and a half. He gets a lot of parts and we installed a lot of parts today and the other couple days and he did a lot of things. A lot of things. So how been... much money have you spent since you had the TL? Not this week, just like since you actually had the TL, which is, and when did you first get the TL? First of all? Uh, I think I've got it like last last June or October. Okay. Some, somewhere around there. I'm not too sure on that. And we're in March right now. Yeah. I spent almost at least, I want to say 14, 14 grand. And you're gonna see why in these videos, so we probably won't talk too much more about it just because you just watch it, you'll, you'll see it. What was your first mod on your TL? I think my first mod was the side markers. Alright. On a budget, I was on a budget, so the side markers were. Are you still on the budget? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes, Stay tuned for the next videos. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Future mods. Future mods coming soon. Okay, yeah. alright. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like it. Don't give them too much. I like it. Yeah, you know? Like this goes to be out before the video, so. Yeah. Alright. Let's see the spin. I don't think you can see a face. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I was like, <laughs> I was like, I was like, brother, I was, I was like, there's no names. I was like, there's no names. <laughs> yeah. All right. So we're gonna be doing the raffle. Uh, there's only 13 guys that actually follow the rules. Yeah, it wasn't that hard. All you had to write is do what I said in the video and just write done on my Instagram. Once you write done, I know you lost the video because it's kind of like obvious. So we got the guys right here on this. Right here, we're gonna shuffle it. Oh shit! We're gonna shuffle. We're gonna shuffle and shuffle, shuffle, and we're gonna go ahead and probably have Fortune spin this. Lucky finger. Dude, high five, dude. Dude. Hey, none of that shit was rigged. That was, you know what I'm saying? I don't even know if you should do that. I don't you know what I'm saying? So that's, the, that's the luck of the ring, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, I mean, that's, I guess that's up to Mythic. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, he that shuffled it. Right should we shuffle yes or no nah, for that? Nah. <laughs> nah, nah, he won it. He won it, yeah, fair and square. He won it. You got, you got it, man. Hey, and I promise, I promise, I told them before this, I said, I don't, I mean, I would like for one of us to win, but I just don't <laughs> want it to seem rigged, but 13 people answered. Where, where's the rest of y'all? Come on now. <laughs> I'm sorry. You look happy about this. I don't care. I, I just, I mean, I hope they believe us. I mean, I, All right, let's see who would have won if 4Gen didn't win. All right, spin it again, 4Gen. That should be me or Timmy. Or do Mariah. Okay. Dope yeah, plus score TL, you would have won if Forgen didn't hog the spin. <laughs> Damn. Alright. So, yeah, you got uh, Forgen is the winner. Um, we're going to probably end the video here. We got Forgen. We got Baller Tim. We got uh, Mythic. That's how you say my name, not my thick. It's Mythic. That's not my thick. We got a new guy. Eric will be here. He's one of the guys. I don't think I have anything of him yet. But um, yeah, we're in the video. Who wants to hit the camera?
Go break it. You about to be all upset or what? We're about to find out in the comments. Find out in the comments. I know, they're gonna be like, that's the same guy that was trying to sell the ace bet. <laughs> and he got a four. How did it rip off Ronnie win? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I just got lucky. Um, yeah, this is not rigged, I promise you guys. These are only 13 guys, and there's no restrictions on it because, you know, even they could just follow the rules and continue to be in it. 13 people? Dude, like, that's an even good chance of, like, you know, I wish I was, the lottery was that. The 13 odds, one in 13. <laughs>